Yeah. Hi there, welcome back Hi to there. a new vlog. We're at the Rosen Inn at Lake Buena Vista. We've had two nights here, haven't mm. we? And we thought it would be really fun to show you around, but also give you a bit of a review. When we do like one of our resort tours or room tours, we like to actually talk about it after we've stayed, don't we? Because yeah. we feel like we can give a bit more of an honest review about it. So we've had two nights here. Yeah. Tell you all about that in a minute, but we'll give you a little bit of a look around so you can see. We're sat out by the pool at the moment, it's lovely and quiet, it's quite early in the morning. They do have towels that you can use. Should we talk about the towel? The pool bit first, actually. Yeah, it can do, yeah. It does look out over the I 4, it's like in the distance, you can probably hear it. It is quite loud. It's kind of opposite Premium Outlets, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're literally just opposite the Premium Outlets. Shame there's not a bridge that you could walk over, oh, that so would be, be so really nice. Um, but when we came here, we were recommended two things to ask at check-in. One was not to have a room by the I-4. Facing, some people might want like the pool view, but it is quite now noisy. We're not. It doesn't bother we're us. We're not does sensitive it really? to noise. It no. doesn't bother us. We find it quite comforting. But I know for some people, it could be really difficult to sleep. So if you are noise sensitive, having a room facing the car park would be a better option. And the other thing that you were recommended by Hannah, yeah, uh, Disney Hannah, <clears throat> was about uh, asking for a non-pet room. If you've not got if a pet, if you've not got a pet, because um, yeah, they had it once, and uh, it wasn't, um, should we say, maybe the nicest smelling of rooms. If you're unlucky, been, if you're unlucky, kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, but uh, that's the thing. That, that's fine. Um, when we got here, we said that it wasn't a problem. What, what would you say in general overall? If we we're talking about the room itself, yeah. Um, we've been really happy here, haven't we? Yeah. We've paid £148 for two nights and we cannot complain. We have better had. facilities here than we've had in some Disney resorts, especially Disneyland Paris, yes. where we've spent a lot more money. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's little things, I mean, the... Having a fridge and a microwave having, for starters. Yeah, a fridge, but almost like a, a full-size mm. fridge, but it's just the fact that you can put enough in there keep you going it's not one of those tiny little hotel fridges that you can literally get like two bottles in the other thing as well I've been really impressed with the storage as well yes. yep. full-size wardrobe full-length mirror inside the wardrobe places you can put your cases as well yes and drawers um, ironing board iron it, there's just a lot of things have been thought out there's a coffee machine as well um, um, yeah. the fluffy towels towels, towels I mean, they're not been... huge but they're fluffy yeah, and they're clean. Really nice. uh, we, and there's quite a few of them as well, which is really nice. And they do have daily housekeeping as well, yep. which we've yep. enjoyed. Haven't we? Anyway, we've chatted long enough. Should we go for a wander and yeah, show let's you go around? For a wander. Let us know if you've got a trip coming up here. Have you stayed here before? There's obviously other locations around here as well. So let us know if you've stayed at any of those, or if you've stayed at more than one of them, and which location you prefer. We are loving the Lake Buena Vista location. Yes. For getting to Disney, there's loads of restaurants in walking distance. We've got a Starbucks in walking distance. There's plenty of food choices around as well. That's the other great thing as well. Yeah. Uh, we, and if you don't have a car, you can walk to them. Yeah, and we obviously, we haven't done it. We've only been here two nights, literally like the one whole day. Um, but I'd be interested to know if anyone's used it and used the Ubers and things like that. Mm. So leave any comments how you found that. Yeah, we'd love to hear. Or if you've used like any of the buses as well, yeah. we'd love to hear. But let's go and have a wander. So this is the pool area out the back of the hotel. It is right by the I-4, so it is quite noisy. There isn't a pool lifeguard, just to let you know. Also, you need your room key to enter the pool area, which we like. It feels very safe. And the pool opening hours are 9 till 10. Okay, so this is us actually looking uh, outside the back of the pool area. Uh, just over there is, we believe it's the restaurant. Um, and it just looks so pretty. The greenery, the trees. Yes, it is right by the I-4, but uh, it is really, really lovely. Really well kept. Oh, it says banana plantation. Right, we've seen zone uh, signs to a splash zone. I'm guessing it's a kids play area, so we're gonna go and have a look and see what that's all about. Got some seating area here as well. We've just seen two big herons out on the water. Oh, there's a hotel map here as well. We haven't been around any of this, have we? That's a really big place. Going on to the boardwalk now. Ah, oh, this must be, because that's what the restaurant's called, isn't it, the boardwalk? Mm. It's like the pool. Yeah, it looks like another pool. Oh, this looks like a bigger pool, actually. And again, look, you can see the premium outlets from here. The ones on, um, 
The I4, yeah. We're not going to be able to obviously film in here, so it's quite a few more people. Yeah, this is a larger pool here, and they have got a kids' splash zone as well, so it's really... Um, that's an ice cream machine. Oh, yeah. And there's lots and lots of tables with brollies as well, which is nicely thought about. It is really green, and like you say as well, it's really nicely kept. I was about this as well, this is undercover. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, being undercover. It's poor, you know, it's like in Florida. Yep. If it pours with rain. Yeah. Yeah, you can still get places. Again, though, look how nicely kept this is. I compare a lot of things to Disneyland Paris these days because you do spend a lot of money to stay there and things just like the pathways weren't nicely kept and so I tend to compare everything to that these days and if I've got a nicely kept resort that makes me feel a lot happier. Um, we're on the other side of the hotel now. It's got quite a few wings here, it is a really big place. Something else we wanted to add was how friendly the staff have been. Security staff at the gate. Yep. They've actually got personality and they talk to you. Unlike um, Disney, we've had so many people just be so rude. And again, I know I'm comparing it to Disney, but we're on the doorstep of Disney. Um, yeah, it's been a much better experience, yeah. hasn't it, here? Loved it. We've got rooms here. They're almost like business rooms, aren't they? What do you call them? Like conference, conference rooms, yeah. Conference centers, rooms, or... We're at check-in now, around by the lobby. There's the comfort zone bar and grill. We haven't eaten in there, but when we arrived our first it night, nice. it smelled really good. It's open, 6 a.m. till midnight, I've just seen. That's the Light Bites. Oh, the, sorry, the Light Bites is the little shop, isn't it? That's open 6 a.m. till midnight. Ah, so the breakfast buffet is 13.99. That's open 7 a.m. till 11. Aids found the bar and grill open it. Oh, they do takeout as well. What kind of food do they do? So it's open at 5:30. Um, grill items served until 11 p.m. That's not bad actually. Burger, 14 dollars. Loaded tots, nine. Chips and dips, eight dollars. Garden salad, 12. They do platters, wings, crispy wings with buffalo sauce. Yeah, That's 12. Nice. Fish and chips, 12. 12.95. Uh, 12. Uh, what size is the pizza? Uh, eight inch is seven. Is the small. That's okay. 750. Oh, the large the there. Large 16. So large is quite a large size. One, 17.50. Yeah. Okay. And the, uh, actually, do you know, the cocktails are uh, $10. Mm. That's not bad. And in terms of being close to Disney, we are literally two miles here from Disney Springs. It is so close. And the area itself is really pretty. I've taken this footage from when we arrived because it was really busy when we were doing our tour and it was a little bit quieter the evening we arrived. When you walk in, it smelled of coconut. It smelled just like being on holiday. Everywhere was clean and everyone was friendly. We decided to have a little wander around the shop just to see what there was. It was quite late at this stage stage and uh, we're really impressed with what they had to offer in this tiny store and the opening hours are really great as well. There's loads of fresh snacks if you want um, baked items, there's bagels, there's croissants, there's muffins and danishes, there's sandwiches, um, rolls. We were really impressed with what they had to offer and there's also a microwave just outside as well so you can heat things up. Loads of snacky bits that you can take into the parks if you want to. It was all cheaper than eating in the parks but obviously it's cheaper to go to somewhere like Walmart. But if you don't have a car you can pick up your items here. Um, we found um, drinks to be quite reasonably priced. The soft drinks were about $3 something each compared to five in Disney. You've got your soda machine, you've got your coffee machines, um, everything here that you would need for a few days. You've also got items in the fridge because obviously you've got a microwave in your room as well so you could um, heat things up there. Lots and lots of snacks, there's even alcohol as well. So that is a lot of stuff that you can buy here. And there's also a decent amount of merch as well. Um, again, that would be probably cheaper than going into Disney. But if you just want a few bits, and some people, let's face it, don't even go on site at Disney, but you still might want some souvenirs. So, um, yeah, they've got you pretty much covered here. Everything that you would need, they've got here. Through the lobby, we were going to film, but it's quite busy in there at the moment. It's like, I guess everyone's coming and going. But a member of staff came over to chat to us just to see if we were okay. And we were saying that we were getting ready to check out. And like you said, it... It wasn't just a friendliness, it was just a, such a ca casual, natural friendliness, yeah. wasn't it? A welcoming. Yeah. Kids play area just over there, which is all fenced off. 
You've got restaurants over here. There's quite a few restaurants, again, all in walking distance. And something else to note, parking is free here as well. Yeah. You've also got drinks machines on each level as well. I have to say, we felt really happy here. We felt safe, we felt welcomed, and really, really close to everything, all the attractions. I wanted just to show you briefly around the room. This was from taken from when we arrived. Um, it is worth remembering that this is a three-star hotel. It's not a five-star. Um, but the beds are really comfy. They're clean. That's what's really important. Storage was really, really good in this place as well. So much storage. Um, big, nice TV. There was a mirror on the inside of the wardrobe as well. Lights were really good once we switched them all on. Uh, we really couldn't complain. It was really, really really good um, the bed the bedroom itself was quite spacious as well as you can see so yeah no we couldn't complain about this place at all there was a safe there in the room as you can see there between the two beds um, the bathroom was nice and spacious microwave full-size fridge coffee machine as well and the bath bathroom itself has just a, a standard bath with an overhead shower and there's a hairdryer there for you as well. So just to let you know that check-in is from four, check-out is 11, and parking we found very, very easy. There's lots of space. Before we finish the resort tour, I just wanted to share some footage as we were driving out as it's so pretty and the road itself is really, really lovely as well. We cannot praise the location of Lake Buena Vista enough. We just loved it so much. Um, it felt like being off-site, having all the perks of off-site, but the luxury of being on-site because you are so, so close. Um, we would definitely stay here again. Look at this road, how pretty this is. If you don't have a car, there are restaurants and places in walking distance. Over to the left, there's loads and loads of gift shops and restaurants. And just down here is Starbucks. There's an olive garden down here. There's an IHOP. There's the other restaurants as well. The location is just spot on. Thank you for watching. We hope yeah, you've enjoyed you. this little resort tour and review. We're literally about to uh, just pack the car up and uh, go and, and check out and leave. So. And off to our next adventure. Exactly. We'll be doing another resort tour there as well. So thank you for the time watching this. And uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe. And also like this video as well. Leave a comment. Um, it's really appreciated and yeah, thanks for your support. We'd love to know if you've stayed here. Let us know if you have, what your thoughts were, if you liked the other locations better and also if you're interested in watching any of our other vlogs, I'll leave the link to the trip series below as they've just started. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.